What is recycling and remanufacturing, you ask? Recycling is a process by which you take material that would otherwise be considered trash and turn it into a new product. Modern urban recycling, which began with the passage of the New Jersey's mandatory recycling law in 1984, has successfully created a tremendous supply of recycled newspapers, glass bottles, office paper, and other materials. Remanufacturing is the process where equipment is restored or made like new, rebuilt, and repaired to meet or extend prior performance and expectations. Durable products that have been remanufactured have been restored to their original functionality by replacing damaged or worn out parts. For recycling, the old product would be dismantled, the hazardous materials would be removed, and the glass, plastic, precious metals, and other recyclable co contents would be converted back to raw material for use in production of an entirely new product. Both methods reduce solid and hazardous waste compared to landfilling. Also, both methods, apart from being beneficial to the environment, also save money in creating new products by using old products. Who are the best companies in recycling and why? Coming in at number three is Verizon. They will appraise your cell phone or tablet at any car carrier in any condition. It can be reused and they will give you a Verizon gift card in return for your device. If it can't be reused, Verizon fully recycles the device to keep it entirely out of landfills. You can also take a charitable approach and donate your cell phones, batteries, and accessories to Hopeline, which is Verizon's program that supports victims of domestic violence. Coming in at number two is Target. To help customers recycle, they offer kiosks conveniently located at each of its stores. Not only do the stores have kiosks for plastic, glass, and cans, but they also have bins for mp3 players, cell phones, and eat cartridges. Target also offers a trade-in program to at select stores for used electronics to be exchanged for a Target gift card. At number one is Best Buy. This retail giant makes it easy for you to get rid of unwanted electronics regardless of where they were purchased. Simply bring your product into a Best Buy store and they will recycle it free of charge. Also, if you have a gently used electronic electronic that you purchased at Best Buy. You can opt for its trade-in program and receive store credit based on the item's trade-in value. In regards to sustainability, Coca-Cola introduces a new plant bottle made from PET or plant-based material made completely from plants. 30 billion bottles have been produced in 25 countries. Coca-Cola's goal is to make all bottles plant bottles by 2020. Here are some of the benefits to consider regarding plant bottles. They decrease the impact of carbon on the planet by 270 tons. Not only that, but they are completely recyclable and there is no new waste introduced into the earth. Coke wants to invest in other sustainability programs as well. Coca-Cola is determined to lead packaged goods to renewable plant bottle based bottles and we're willing to share the formula with other companies. In 2005, Coca-Cola, in collaboration with Alchem Nigeria Limited, a fiber processing manufacturer, initiated a buyback and recycling plan for used PET bottles regardless of source or brand. Together, the partners launched Nigeria's first bottles to fiber recycling operation. Coca-Cola is the only player in the beverage sector that is investing in this initiative and joined the 2009 by its bottling partner, Nigerian Bottling Company Limited. Since 2005, the volume of bottles that are recycled through the program have grown from 135 tons in 2005 to 6,200 tons in 2012. The initiative has helped create jobs for estimated of 1,500 people. Also, Coca-Cola and Keep America Beautiful donate recycling carts bend all across America. Coca-Cola is working with leading academic, government, and NGO partners to evaluate the wide range of agricultural resources to see if they can meet Coca-Cola criteria of being able to deliver improved environmental and social performances without impacting food security. At this time, Coca-Cola has only approved sugarcane from Brazil and sugarcane processing waste from India. And while today Coca-Cola uses sugarcane and sugarcane processing waste, they are working to advance technologies that source plastic from other plastic residues as well. 
The future goal is to increasingly use renewable natural resources such as plant stems and fruit peels to meet the plant's bottle packaging. For Caterpillar and its customers, sustainability is a competitive advantage and sustainability is what Cat Ramon is all about. Cat Ramon returns products at the end of their lives to like new condition. That means their customers get like new quality at the fraction of the cost of a new product, which really helps reduce owning and operating costs. It's a great way to do business. This reduces waste, lowers greenhouse gas emission, and reduces the need for new material. Cat Ramon remanufactures more than 2 million components each year. The process begins when a customer buys a Cat Ramon product at a fraction of the cost of a new product. The Ramon price includes a core deposit which gives the customer financial incentive to return the product for the core being replaced. Once the dealership ins inspects and accepts the old product, the deposit is returned to the customer. Caterpillar is known for remanufacturing over $3.5 billion of parts and components. The company consists of 5,000 workers making like new products from worn out, traded in, and discarded units, which is key in their global strategy. Caterpillar is driving positive, sustainable change through advanced processes and product innovation. As the world leader in remanufacturing, Caterpillar is making progress possible, finding new ways to reduce, reuse, recycle, and reclaim materials which once would have gone into a landfill. Once a return core arrives at a Ramon facility, it is disassembled down to the smallest part, losing its original identity. Each element goes through a cleaning process and is inspected against strict engineering specifications to determine if it can be effectively salvaged. Accepted worn-out components are then converted into production-ready material through advanced salvage techniques which use the same rigorous engineering process that goes into new cat machines. Caterpillar is a global leader in remanufacturing technology, recycling more than 120 million pounds of end-of-life iron annually. Because they are in the business of returning end-of-life components to the same as new condition, they reduce waste and minimize the need for raw material to produce new parts. Through remanufacturing, they make one of the greatest contributions to sustainable development, keeping non-renewable resources in circulation for multiple lifetimes. Walmart is another leader in sustainability. They have developed a mission of environmental sustainability in order to run a more responsible and successful company. They are making sustainability a part of how they buy and sell merchandise around the world. They are looking to create a more resilient supply chain and increase their customers' trust in their brand. At Walmart, they are looking to achieve zero waste across their global operations. Today, they have made progress in the right direction in the U.S., more than 81% of the materials that flow through the store are being diverted from landfills. In Japan and the U.K., there is a 90% diversion rate. And in Canada and Mexico, there is a 70% rate. With this progress towards a better environment, Walmart is planning to enhance the people, process, and data they use worldwide. This will increase the speed, consistency, and reach their pursuit of zero waste. Walmart has begun to use one-time use shopping bags also. This is a huge way to reduce the amount of waste sent from landfills. Walmart has reduced plastic bag waste by 38% at the end of 2013, which is a reduction of 10 million bags annually. Why should companies continue recycling and remanufacturing? Reducing unnecessary waste can trim operating costs for the business. An example of this can be refilling ink cartridges instead of throwing them away. It can also be a money-saving practice for the individual or customer. Green policies of recycling and remanufacturing are increasing in popularity. Companies using green technology are seeing an increase in profits. This could be due to the amount of money saved in reusing old products or using greener methods of production. Companies such as Walmart and Target are following these practices and have seen customers respond positively to the changes. Utilizing sustainable methods can prevent the waste of natural resources and reduce the risk of depletion in the long run.